everybody. My name is Sujit. My name is Julia. I'm Andrew, and our microcontrollers project is the pickball machine. Tell me about it. So this was kind of a hardware software hybrid project where we decided where we wanted to kind of see, um, kind of build like a physical shell for a pinball machine and integrate as many sensors um, as we could and then try to run um, like scoring, LED control, all of that through the PIC32 microcontroller. Okay, so there's a score up at the top I can see peeking over. There's uh, big 3D printed paddles here. Mm -hmm. Whack the paddles, push the bu paddle buttons there and show me what happens. Okay, now the other one. So those are really responsive and mm -hmm. loud. <laughs> and it turns out electrically noisy also, right? Very, yeah. Okay, and where and where you have sensor switches various places. Show me those. So, we have limit switches embedded in all the bumpers, so you click and they I can turn the them score. on so they yeah. respond. So clicking them, updates the score, changes the sound. Cool. This one creates a different sound. And then we also have copper tape here that when the ball goes through, oh. it uh -huh, creates a it. contact between the copper tape and generates another interrupt. Oh, I see it. Yeah, uh huh? Okay. Wow. So, okay. So, how many games have you played for testing? Hundreds, yeah, twenty to thirty, 20, 30 at least. least. Maybe not okay. full games, but throughout the thing, we just like kept going. Like, yeah, testing. sure, because this requires a lot of mechanical mm -hmm. testing yeah, yeah. for playability and for reliability and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Do you want to play a game? Sure. Yeah. One thing to note is that the LEDs originally start off as like off, and then as you play more, the blue one will turn on and grow in intensity, and then once you hit score of twenty five hundred. The red one will start on. So, and then, yeah. so this okay. is our re like kind of in between game state, um, and then as soon as you trigger a new game, it turns off the LEDs as yeah. you just said. Okay. The LEDs go on if you score increase. So initially it's just a little bright, keep increasing. Uh huh. And the, the blue okay. LED brightens up. And once you hit twenty five hundred, the red one starts up. Okay. So, like, we can start launching it in. Okay, uh, fire the ball and let's see what happens now. Wow, that that looks very much like an old style mechanical pinball machine. Very That's cool. Exactly what we were doing. Yeah. So. Okay, somebody else play one. Uh, I'm not good. You guys are... uh, I'm, I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> That's okay. That means it'll be fast. <laughs> oh, the red one. Okay, good enough. Do another ball. <laughs> that was. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's just keep playing from this one. <laughs> I'm very bad at this game. You want to try? I'm okay. Alright. Okay, do one more game then. Sure. Looks like you've been practicing a little too much on this. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, anything you want to add to the description before? Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with the re response, uh, responsiveness and the and the overall mechanical design. You had you had to tune the slope here fairly carefully, right? Yeah. Um, when we first cut this out, we grossly overestimated the slope, and uh, eventually we realized that it was going to be way too slanted for proper gameplay. Yeah, we and then so we kind of had to stand this up later on. Or if we continue with this, we're probably going to add okay. some kind of adjustable legs. Okay, um, but, but right now you're using the handbook adjust. of chemistry and physics in the, in the best way possible. Yeah, yeah. It was right. just to make the slope sort of less for the ball falling down. We were right. originally worried about the solenoids not being able to 
Right. right. They're 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 copper tape. Yeah, they're copper tape. It has to go. This needs to be otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.